Hey guys, Mike here at Amaze Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do another subscriber request and the question that I got was, can you model a, um, a bicycle wheel? So that's what we're going to do. All right, cool. So we're going to start off with um, the, uh, the center section of the wheel. So for that, we'll take a simple polygon pipe, pull that up, hit control A to pull up our attribute editor. Somebody's pinging me apparently. Uh, let's see, we're going to do uh, 30 on subdivision. We'll do a radius of 6. We'll do a thickness of 1. So that's our initial uh, section there. Okay, we're going to go to the polypipe 1 tab and we're going to set all the translate values to 0 to make sure that we're in the middle. Okay. Then we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Multiple, we'll do two. Add them right there. Hit R and pull them out until we have something like this. Okay. Hit Q on your keyboard, right click face, select that face row and shift select that face row and go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. And let's drag on the thickness until we have something like this okay then we're going to smooth this guy out but before we do that we're going to go back to mesh tools entered edge loop tool which is still set to two add them right there hit r and pull them up until they're close to that edge right there okay once again hit q right click object mode and hit three to smooth out which will give us the shape to start with and we probably will need to tweak this later on but that's fine we're going to select it we're going to hit r we're going to scale that way down so we have it sitting on the center of our grid and that's going to be our orientation point for our spokes all right so spoke number one let's take a polygon cylinder keep that nice and thin Drag that up, hit E, and rotate that 90 degrees. Hit Control A, so we can change that value. There we go. We're going to switch to our top view. Where are we at? Over there. Okay, hit W to move that. F to zoom in. Let's move that out. For some reason, that thing looks off. No idea why. This guy is exactly centered. This guy, not so much. Okay, that's better. Pull that out. Still a bit thick, so we're going to hit R. We're going to scale it in a bit. Hit W and pull that in, like so. And then from this view, Actually, I don't really like this view. I'm going to move it over here just so it's a bit easier to work with. Let's see. Yeah, this will work. We'll move it over here. Okay, I'm going to pull it up a little bit and we're going to zoom in. And then I'm going to get rid of this cap right here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Poly Cylinder 1 tab, set the cap to 0. Right click face, select that, edit mesh, extrude under face, hit W and pull that out. And then we're going to move to this view. So we're going to pull that out, we're going to pull that down just a bit and hit E and rotate that slightly. G to repeat, W to pull out. And again, hit E to rotate slightly. G to repeat, W to pull out, hit E once again, G to repeat, W to pull out, E to rotate, and G to repeat, W to pull out, and E to rotate until we are level, okay? Right click object mode, hit W, move that in, 
I have to zoom in and lower that in there, like so. And then we're going to right click our vertex, take the end vertices, pull that out a bit more, and bring that down to our grid line, like so. Okay. So that's our starting point. Now, down here, we're going to add a little section. So we're going to take another polygon cylinder. We're going to pull that up. And we're going to give that five subdivisions to give it that shape. Okay. Select it. Hit R. Scale it down quite a bit. And hit E and rotate it over until we are at 90 degrees, like that. And then we're going to switch to our top view. Hit F to zoom in. W to move that over. F to zoom in. R to scale it up a little. And 4 for wireframe mode. So we can check out where we're at. Okay. Alrighty. Let's push that out there. And we need to tilt it a bit because as you can see, when we bring that down, it's not aligned yet. So I have to zoom in. 4 for wireframe mode. E to rotate. That's pretty much the correct angle. And right click vertex. We're going to take these. And we're just going to stretch that out just a little bit. Okay. So that's spoke number one. Just looking at the overall diameter of the wheel when we're done that should be about right right click object mode come on there we go we're going to go to mesh and combine modify center pivot okay all right so now that we have that what we're going to do next is we are going to rotate the sky a little bit so we're going to Rotate this four degrees. Okay. And then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. And we're going to rotate back minus four degrees. Okay. Which will give us this. Now, when you look at this from the top, you can see that these two spokes are crossing somewhere in the middle. We don't really want that. So I'm going to hit W and I'm going to move that so that they're crossing up here. And don't mind this thing in the middle. We'll fix that in a sec. So that's better, right? Then we're going to select both. We're going to go to Mesh and Combine. Uh, let me see. Modify Center Pivot. And now for the tricky part. Uh, let's check it from this view. Have to zoom in. So our pivot point is there, right? Our pivot point needs to be exactly on the cross section of our grid here. So we're going to hit uh, the insert key, which will allow us to move our pivot point. We've got W selected to move it, and let's oops, let's move it until we are exactly. Come on. On the center of our grid, right there. And that's what we want. Reason being that we are going to copy this set around. Okay. And let's just make sure that it's correct from the top as well. Because I'm not 100% convinced. Well, it's important that it's centered to this guy. Don't mind this guy, right? So this looks okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to hold down J on our keyboard, which will allow us to rotate in sections. And it looks like my duplicate didn't take. Let's try that again. Control D. Hold on, J. He's not playing ball. Hang on, guys. Not sure why. Oh, hang on. I know why. 
reason is I still have my insert key, so it's still wanting to move my pivot point. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's uh, fix that. So once again, hit the insert key, and then let's bring that right there. Okay, and now hit the insert key again. Now we should be good. Hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate and J to snap. Okay, so that's one. And now we're gonna hit Shift D to continue to do that duplication all the way around, which will give us this, okay? And that is not bad. Now, we need to fix this guy in the middle here. But before we do that, we're gonna drag select all this stuff Deselect. Okay. We're going to deselect this guy. And then we're going to go to Mesh, Combine, Modify, Center Pivot, and Modify Free Transformations. Then we're going to take the guy in the middle without moving that. We're going to go to our top view. Hit W and let's get that thing where it needs to be. And this looks pretty accurate. Okay, from this view, we're gonna hit W, we're gonna raise it up a little bit. Okay. That's that. All good, okay. Now, we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate pull it down, hit E, and we're going to flip it over to minus 180, like so. Then we're going to go to this view, we're going to hit W, we're going to bring that up, have to zoom in until these end sections are at the same level, like so. Now, we're still not there yet. From our top view, we don't want these to be exactly on top of each other. So we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate them to a point where we have roughly equal spacing if possible. So we've got a set of four spokes, a little gap, set of four spokes, little gap and so forth. Okay. All right. Now we need to check the bottom part of this guy because up here it looks okay. Down here, it looks like it needs some work. We'll hit four for wireframe mode. And you can see if we go to this guy, right click vertex, I need to take the stuff, hit W and bring that down a little. And from this view, we can see how far. And that looks okay. And that looks okay. So it looks like we're all set with that. Right click object mode, drag select everything. Come on, object mode. Drag click all of it. Mesh, combine, edit, delete by type, history. And actually I should have grouped it and not combine it. And you can see here why. So we're gonna drag select it again, hit one. Mesh, separate, control G to group. Reason being that I want this thing to be smooth. So hit three. And I do not want that for the spokes because if I do that and I select them and I hit three, it's gonna look funky, right? We don't want that. So I hit one to go back, okay. So we got all that stuff. Next is we are going to create the rim. So we'll take a polygon pipe, drag that out. Pull that up. We're going to go to polypipe one. Uh, sorry, three. Set the translate values to zero. To have it centered. Then we are going to decrease the thickness to one. The radius, we're going to tweak that manually. We're going to increase subdivision to 40 to make that nice and smooth. And let's see what we got. We're going to go to our top view, F to zoom in, 
are to scale in and have to zoom in again. Now we know that our um, whole wheel section here is not 100% um, centered. So what we'll do there is um, we'll go to window outliner and we'll take our group there and we'll hit W and we'll move that over just slightly. That looks about right. And we'll take this guy, hit our uh, scale in just a little bit. Okay. Let's move in here. We're going to hit R. We're going to push that down. And then let's um, tweak the thickness. Let's do 0 0.5. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty close. Maybe even less. 0 0.4. That's probably even better. Okay. And because of that, we now need to hit R and scale it back in a bit. Yeah, looks fine. Then we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box. So we're still on multiple and on two. Set them there. Hit R. Pull them up like so. Right click face. Select that face row and that face row and go to edit mesh extrude under face and drag on this guy. Now we don't want that to be too much, so just check that out here. Let's do 0 0.05, maybe a bit more, 0 0.08, that's a bit better, okay? And then we're going to hit R. And we're just slightly going to flare that out, not too much. Okay. Right click object mode, select it and hit three to smooth that. That looks very nice. Just checking my spokes here. Okay, cool. So we got that. Now we're going to go and create the tire. For that, we'll take a polygon torus. As you can see, it's very big. Okay, right click object mode, there we go. Control A for our attribute editor. Set the translate values to zero. There we go. We're gonna go to our polytorus tab. Let's see, section radius, we'll do one. We'll do 30 subdivisions. And obviously we're gonna scale that guy in quite a bit. Let's check it from our top view. Okay, we're getting pretty close. Still need some tweaking, but that's fine. Okay, then we're going to stretch it out a bit to make it a bit thicker. And we don't want that to stick through there. And we're going to hit three on our keyboard to see once it's smoothed out how that will look and that looks okay. We're going to select our tire, hit one to go back. We're going to switch to this view and what we're going to do is we're going to right click at a face. I don't want those faces. Let's see. I want that to do that from here. Right click face. Come on. Now what? Right click face. There we go. Uh, let's see. These seem to be the three in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. We'll do that and then we'll Just check and see what we got here. Okay, that's a bit much. So what we'll do is we'll try 
trying to deselect all that. Let's try that again. That's what I'm going for. Okay, so we got those. We're going to go to Edit Mesh Extrude Under Face. And let's make sure that's not too much. And we'll give it a little bit. Zero point zero three. Let's see how that looks. Maybe a bit more. Zero point zero four. That's about right. Right click object mode, select your tire hit three, which will give us this. And to be honest, I think it's a bit much. So control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. Zero point two oops zero point zero two five that looks a bit better right click object mode hit three to smooth it out yeah that kind of works okay cool all right so that's our model we're gonna drag select it we're gonna hit control g to group it we're going to go in and we're going to apply some material. So the tire, right click, assign new material, MIA material X, material tab, presets, rubber, replace. Then we'll take this guy and the rim, assign new material, MIA, presets, chrome, replace. Now we want to have just our spokes so we're going to drag select all of this deselect that and that and that and we are going to right click assign the material mia material presets settings metal right there and we'll do a 75 percent blend and I think that's all of it. Now we're going to create a ground plane. Hit R to stretch that out quite a bit. Right click face. Right click assign new material. We'll do a uh, Fong E. And make that white. We're going to set our model on the grid. So right click object mode come on there we go deselect your ground hit W and bring that up like so we're gonna go up to create lights point light pull that up hit 7 on our keyboard so we can see where our light is at We'll hit Control D to duplicate. Push one back here, push that up. And let's uh, decrease the intensity on that one. Let's do 0 0.6. And then we'll go to create lights, ambient light. And these are always very bright. Push it back over here and change the intensity to 0 0.1. Okay, so that's that. Then we're going to go to our render settings. Come on. Mental ray, because we use the mental ray material. We're going to go with an HD 1080 image size. In the quality tab, increase that to about 1.5. Uh, let's see, ray tracing. I'm going to increase these values for shadows slightly. So 5, 5, and 8. I'll leave that. I'm going to set up global illumination. I'm not going to use final gathering, but I am going to click on image based lighting. And I'm going to select a file that I use quite a lot. And most of these files you can get for free. Just uh, Google uh, free HDRI images. Um, for example, hdrlabs.com and uh, you'll find some cool stuff there. So I'm going to use this guy. I'm going to hit open. 
going to set up my resolution gate. See if we can get a nice angle for our shot here. That would be about right. And I'm going to give the render a go, and I will see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, this is the final render. Um, if you got any questions, as usual, just uh, leave a comment, and I'll uh, get back to you if I can. And that said, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.